I've seen some college textbooks for $200 a piece. Stop spending all that money. My first tip on how to save the most on textbooks is skip the bookstore altogether. You know what, never, never should you ever go to the college bookstore straight out. That's Gabriel Corneo, a student turned CEO. He founded My Beeble, an app that lets you compare textbook prices and buy used books from nearby students. So that way you can meet up in person same day and pick up the book. For a lot less than what you'd find at the bookstore too. This book, Adolescence by Lauren Steinberg, will run you 180 bucks brand new. But we saw it on the My Beeble app from $27 to $42. That's a great deal. My Beeble even forms a social network with other students in that class, so you can easily pass books to each other, even exchange notes. Best of all, it's free. Number two on my list, bigwords.com. Big Words isn't an app, it's a website that lets you compare prices on textbooks and then buy the cheapest one. Instead of using nearby students, it uses bookstores, so you may have to pay shipping. Look out for that. $1,600. I have to buy $1,600 worth of books all at once. Finally, instead of buying a textbook, why not rent it? Bookrenter.com and Chegg.com are two websites that let you do just that. Bookrenter has free shipping both ways, Chegg doesn't. But not every website will offer the same books, so it helps to shop around. You can rent a book for a fraction of what you'd pay if you purchased it. And the My Beeble app I talked about earlier also lets you compare prices on rentals. Because most students who buy textbooks feel the way Gabriel did. We all feel like we got ripped off. I know I did. My Beeble, Big Words, and Textbook Rentals. Three ways to save boatloads of money the next time you buy college textbooks. Now that is always a good deal.